Damn, El Rayo, man, you know, that's the tough part about matching a prospect against another tough guy who's been there before. You know, um, I would say Edwin De, Lo De Los Santos is a prospect in his own right. So when you match up with a guy that can punch like that, they say never get too high on a prospect until you know that they can take a shot. And this guy is, what, 15-1 uh, and one with 14 KOs? So, and I've seen him fight before, too. He's a southpaw who can punch, who can bang. You know, his one-two is electric. If you sit in front of this guy and you get flat-footed with this guy, he can and will knock you out. And um, Ryo, you know, sat in front of him, made a couple mistakes here and there. You know, the footwork was pretty, pretty bad, pretty um, average, pretty mediocre. He was off balance at times, and I felt like the power kind of shocked him. I felt like even though they saw the record, they might not have understood that this guy is for real and he's here to stay. So when you look at the rebuilding process, I don't think Ryo's a uh, – I know a lot of people are going to write him off and call him a bum and say he's not nothing and he never was shit and all that. You know how you know how, uh, what happens when a prospect loses or a guy loses to, a, to somebody they're not supposed to. But me, this isn't a, a, a loss that – was super, 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 super shocking. You know, a lot of people feel like it was shocking or, no, man, when you got a guy like like De Los Santos, if you watch film on this guy, he only has one loss. It's not like he's a, a bum and this fight puts him back on the map. And now he's going to be a threat to whoever he gets in the ring with because he can punch. And he can set the shot up. And he's not slow. He has a quick hand speed. And his one-two is very technical. So... When you look at what this guy brings to the table, Edwin De Los Santos is not no average Joe. He's not just in there to get a paycheck. He came to win. And I felt like if Ryo overlooked him, you know, I think in, nobody else that fights this guy next will overlook him. So I'm interested to see what they do with Ryo next and his next move. But I still think highly of Ryo. Uh, but I think high of Los Santos or more high, uh, De Los Santos than I did before. Um, I already knew this guy was a, a crazy puncher, but to do it, to do this to El Rayo and put your name back in the hat at one in that division and at PBC, he will be back on a PBC card and a bigger card and getting a getting a um in a, a good placement against a good name next. So Edwin De Los Santos' uh, name is hot now, and Rayo has to rebuild. He's still young. Um, he can come back from here, but yeah, I mean. I just wonder what that's going to do to his confidence. I hope he keeps his head up. And shout out to El Rayo for, for getting in there with a guy um, that could punch like that. And also at this stage of his career, uh, taking that fight and thinking that he was going to dominate this guy, just having that fighter's mindset, the fearless mindset to get in the ring with that guy and think that he's nothing to you, you know, to think that he was a stepping stone. So shout out to the confidence of El Rayo. I hope that, it, I hope that confidence is what helps him rebuild. But, yeah, we got to get that footwork in po on point. We got to get that head movement on point, and we, we have to get you, you know, throwing straight shots. And, and when you get in trouble, learn how to tie up. You know, these these are things that are necessary. And, um yeah, so El Rayo, back to the drawing board. But keep your head up, champ.